Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content or some makeup content and today my hair I just need it out of my face because today I am talking about my favorite base product for 2021 one thing that I love about the end of the year is talking about favorites and I just love to watch yearly favorite videos and people just talking about what favorite they have had during the year. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do my base together with you and using my favorite base products that I have had this year. So I am going to talk about like my top top and then some others that I have been really really loving so yeah I think we just get into this so this is putting on makeup with me doing my base talking about my favorites so okay let's start and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this like you do my base at the same time I'm doing my makeup we'll just have to wait and see so my favorite primer, face primer, for this year has been the High Gloss Primer from NYX in Moonbeam. And I don't know about NYX, this is no longer available. They discontinued this whole High Gloss line, I think, and NYX does this a lot. They discontinuing things that people do really like, and I... I don't get why. I'm like, I guess you are hanging around on social media. Nix like on Instagram. And uh, I think they should know that people really do love the high glass line. So <laughs> what I've been loving with this primer is the glow. You look a little bit like a Tin Man, but... When you put on your foundation, it's going to peek through really, <laughs> really nice. And I'm actually going to apply my concealer before I apply my foundation. So I think this year I did love the Body Shop Fresh Nude Serum Concealer. And I think I will buy it again. But as for right now, I'm using Born to Glow. The Born to Glow in Fair. And I do like this but I don't think it is as good as the body shop but I have been liking this really much and I do like this and then I'm maybe I can use a brush for this if I do find that brush it is a good concealer but I guess it's not available anymore so that's also like NYX what are you doing then on to my favorite foundation for this year. I have been loving this Bear With Me from NYX so, so much. This is their Tinted Skin Wheel. I did use up one of these. I have it in Pale Light. I bought an extra and now it's gone. And I guess it's gone forever. So I'm saving this <laughs> when I'm opening a new one. But this one I have been really loving this year. But I also have been loving the Fenty East Drop. I have it in color 1, the lightest one, and I do think it works. The thing that I do love more about this, this is more like glow to it than this do. But I think this is good, but I need to have it with a primer that looks like this. Because else, I think it's a little bit um, too matte. And I'm just so happy that I like this one because it wasn't cheap. And I could actually see myself buying this again because I think it is really good. It is not like super much coverage. But for me it is enough and I think it holds up really good. And you can, I can at least go without setting this one. But I actually like to set my foundation. 
I guess this is like a skin tint or it's not a foundation but I think it's too much coverage for being only a skin tint and as you see now the primer is peeking through but I'm going to set this down with a powder so for setting my face I have a powder under my eyes that I set with and this year I have had this powder for I don't know how long but this year I have really started to love to set my under eyes and it is the infinity filter by LH cosmetics in light and this I can't use this in my whole face because then it's going to uh, deepen down my foundation but under my eyes I think it works really really good so I always set this with a little powder puff also from LH Cosmetics and I do really love this it like gives no flashbacks and it doesn't make it lighter and it just works really really good and you get like really smooth underneath your eyes so yeah I'm going to try to put the cap on the lid on and for the rest of my face and this has been my absolute favorite this is the Nabla close up smoothing pressed powder and as you can see I have a pretty big band in this and this is in color light and I just love how this looks. It has a little bit of color and I just think it looks so good and it has worked with all foundations that I have had tried out this year and I just really really do like it. And I know that it's maybe not supposed to work good for me that has a dry skin but it really does. I love how it looks on my face. I love everything about it. The only thing I don't know, I did order from Nabla like during Black Friday or Black Week. And I didn't post a new one. I don't know why, because I love this. <laughs> For the rest of my face, and I'm noticing that I'm only talking about the products and nothing else. Just have to live with it. If you have been reading my description on any of my videos this year, if you have watched a single favorite video this year, I guess you know what I've been loving to use as contour, highlight and blush. My contour favorite has of course been Nabla's Skin Glazing in Ombra. I do love this so, so much. It works amazing and it just gives a little bit. It's not that pigmented, which I do, do really, really like. And just like give some definition. And that is what I want. And it's very hard to like get too much of it. And it suits my pale skin so, so good. And uh, yeah, it has been an absolute favorite. And uh, I do not want to change this up. So I'm guessing this is going to be the one that I'm going to use so much next year as well. But I also have been loving the Kaleidos Charisma contour palette I got this last year I did use it more last year but I have used it some this year and it is it's really good but I love the one from Nabla more over to blush this was a little bit harder because I have been loving my Nabla blushes so so much but I think the blush that I have to have as a favorite this year is this one from Melt. This is in the Buskill, their Blush Digital Duo. 
and this blush it is amazing this is a little bit too dark for me but this blush I have just been loving this I used it so much this summer but it's just a really really nice blush and it's the same with this one as with uh, the Fenty e-strops I'm so happy that I do like this because this was also kind of expensive and even though I only use the blush side I actually don't care I would pay that money to only get the blush I just love how it looks on me it's really light it has a little bit of a gold sheen to it and amazing but I have also loved some other blushes and <laughs> it is the one from Noble of course now I have four in the beginning of the year I had two I had these two I don't know where to put things I had adults only and Lola this Lola has become my favorite until I bought these two new ones I bought Maybe I could show you and not destroy these. So this is Truth and this is Independence. First I was only going to buy this one but I did buy this one as well. And I actually do love this Independence more I think but these are so so nice. I'm so happy that I bought them and I've only had this for maybe a month but they are amazing and another thing that I haven't had this long this year but I do really start to like now the last couple of weeks is these two reasons from Nabla I do really love this one this is soft nude really nice one I I don't know if I should call them favorites but I have been really really liking these. I think they are fun to work with and I starting maybe to get a grip on, on like doing things with cream products. So the last little touch to this cheeks I'm going to use um, highlighter and I think you all know which one. It is of course Ozone. <laughs> oh ozone from nabla i do love this this is a perfect highlighter i i love this this is by far the most used highlighter for this year and maybe like forever and i do love to use nabla's own highlighting brush for this i think it works the best and what i always I loved about Nabla's highlighters they are really you can have them really really light and just like a hint or you can build them up a little bit but they just do look amazing and I would love to have more of these skin glazing <laughs> but I know that the other colors are going to be too dark for me like the second color this is the lightest one the second color is going to be too dark for me so it's no point for me to even buy it because it's going to be too dark but i do really really love this but i also have two other highlighters that i have been really liking this year one of them is the old mars melter from kaleidos this is Maybe I should swatch this. This has a little bit of like a red to it and a blue at the same time. But it's just such a nice one. And I have also been loving the lunch money from ColourPop. This I've had for years. <laughs> Maybe I should be declaring this, but. I do really love this one as well and this is more of a maybe 
I don't know if you can see. I think it's so hard. More like a champagne one. It's over here. I have been loving both of these. And they're just <laughs> so, so good. So I only have my eyebrows left to do. So I think I'm going to do them off cam because I think it's hard to do on cam. Because I need to be a little bit more invested. But I have been, I have a favorite for eyebrows as well. And there is this little duo, brow duo from BH Cosmetics in blonde, light blonde. And I actually did hit pan in this this morning. I don't know if you can see the little baby pan in there. I have been loving this. I bought this when I, I had one from Anastasia that I did really like, but I bought this one on Beauty Bay and I do like this more and it was like 10% of the price. And then another favorite for my eyebrows is, I don't want to show a close up on this, but it's the brow glue from NYX because this looks disgusting. It's supposed to be see-through, but it's a lot of eyeshadow. No, it, eyebrow powder in it. But I have been loving this. I think it's really good. You can't take too much and uh, because then it's going to look not that good. But I do really like this and I think I will buy a new one when this is empty. So I think I'm just going to put on my eyebrows and then spritz my face with setting spray. I have um, the same favorite for setting spray that I had last year. Which is the Bear With Me. I'm pretty sure I had this last year. I haven't opened this yet though. Because this also is no longer available. But I know. I think it's being discontinued. Nyx. Uh, I have two backups. <laughs> I'm going to use another one today. But I do really love that. I'm going to use uh, All Nighter from Urban Decay. I think it's okay. So I'm going to fix my eyebrows. And then I'll come back again. So the eyebrows are on, the setting spray is on, and this is my favorite base for this year, I guess, <laughs> using my favorite base products. I hope that you did like this video, instead of me just showing all the base products that I've been really loving to see me like use them. And this year, I like base products is growing on me. I start to think it's really fun. And like doing my base is fun and I, it's not often, maybe I should have put on something on my lips. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I do really hope that you have liked this video. It's going to come lip favorite video and also an eyeshadow palette favorites video. I have not decided how I'm going to do this, do that this year. If I'm going to... Uh, choose different categories as I usually do or if I'm just going to talk about like maybe top 10 eyeshadow palettes this year haven't decided yet I'm going to see what I feel like and with lips I'm just going to talk about maybe 10 favorite lipsticks we'll see but yeah I hope you have been liking this video and I hope that you are looking forward to more favorites it is kind of like my favorite time of the year to see people doing favorite videos. So yeah, I hope you have been liking this. I will leave all the products down in the description and all the colors that I have, all the shades, and I am a pale, a pale person. You can just leave it like that. So yeah, I hope you have liked this. I have said it like five times now, so sorry. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye!